Don't you touch that remote. The show is about to start. You should have grabbed your snack like five minutes ago. <sighs> oh well. Grab it anyways. Be quick. And I know you've got your blanket. And I see you've got your tea. Or hot cocoa. I'm not sure what that is. You've got a drink. That's good. Just get comfortable. Sit back, relax. And enjoy the show. folks welcome back to Travi J's space here on YouTube and we are jumping into another episode of The Sims OG The Sims 1 going back to 2000 with this one y'all if y'all don't remember this game came out 22 years ago what <laughs> what you're saying huh how old am I again um, yeah, so not, not much has really happened here in the house. Um, the last thing we did, what was the last thing we did? We went downtown. Yeah, we brought Betty downtown. She made some friends and uh, I've got this on the wrong way. <laughs> I do this every time. There we go. There we go. That's more like it. <laughs> and the flies. Let's do a sound check. Flies are over here. Flies are over here. Okay, great. Fly check. Great check. With, uh, <laughs> great sound check if you're playing The Sims Let's Plays. <laughs> Just zoom in on the flies or the stereo, either one. Uh, but yes, yeah, so we went to the mall, or we went downtown. Uh, us, we went with Betty and she met some friends. And there were some very interesting people downtown. That Freddy guy with the weird face. <laughs> He was like, I feel like he's from Magic Town or something. I can't be too sure though, I don't know. We saw Mrs. Crumplebottom though too, and we saw Bella and, oh my goodness, we found Bob having a date with some chick, uh, uh, what's her name? Uh, Betty Boom Boom or something. Yeah, Mary Boom Boom Townie. But as we can see, she doesn't like him, or he doesn't like her. So maybe we're good, I think we're good. I don't think he's cheating. Bob has too nice of a heart. We gotta give him the benefit of the doubt. Look at them chilling in bed here. All right, so now what I'm thinking is that we uh, take it to the next level. I think we need to take, it's too bad we can't take Betty and Bob downtown, but I do need to get Betty some new clothes. So I'm thinking, because we did that last time, right? We went downtown, we got our new dress, we got our new um, nightgown or two piece. And I think we got her a new swimsuit. I can't remember. I don't think we did actually. Um, but what I'd like to do is get her new everyday wear and maybe a makeover, like a new hairdo. I don't know. Um, but it might change her whole face because that's how the Sims 1 be. <laughs> so I don't know if that's possible. Um, but let's just fast forward here. Actually, let's not. I haven't really, we haven't jumped in yet. <laughs> um, but yeah, so that's what we're going to try to do. I'm going to try to get her down to um, the Superstar uh, Expansion Neighborhoods. Uh, Studio City, I think it's called. Sim City, Sim Studios, something like that. And oh, there's that weird guy, Tony Fingers. Ugh, he's creepy. He doesn't even have a nose or a jaw. Ew, what is he? Uh, anyway. <laughs> Um, one big thing I do want to also do is get Bob some new clothes too. He's in desperate need. Have you seen the sweat stains on his shirt and the grease stains and his belly's popping out? It's not a pretty sight. So we're going to, we're going to give them a makeover. Their house got a makeover, right? First couple episodes, we did that. We still need to do the garden. I think I'll do that in the next episode with you guys and we'll, we'll decorate all that. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, let's jump right in y'all. You got your tea? Glug, glug, glug. <laughs> or something cold. It could be five o'clock where you are. So alcohol is permitted here at all times. <laughs> not for me, though. It's not even one yet, I don't think. Where's the time? Wait, I forgot to turn on my little. I don't think you guys can see it from there, but I have a little um, mini computer. 
you probably can't see it, but it, it looks like a little old-fashioned computer, like a white, little old white ones. And 1253. Yeah, so it's not even one o'clock. Um, but yeah, it's pretty cool. It's called. It's by Divu, D-I-V-O-O-M. Look it up <clears throat> on Amazon. Uh, Divoom. Uh, I have the computer version, so look up Divoom. I think it's Dito, D-I-T-T-O-O. There's TiVo as well, T-I-V-V-O-O, -O, I think, and that one's like a mini TV. It's really cool. It's for pixel art. It's pretty cool. Keeps me, um, it keeps me, uh, well, focused and distracted at the same time, if that makes sense. All right, so you got your tea. You got your blanket, too. Looks like you got that. Okay, you look pretty comfortable. Are you comfortable? Good. That's all that matters. Let's jump right in, babies. Well, this tea's almost done. You know what? I should have, I shouldn't have to reach all the way behind. There we go. There we go. Right up front. And the timer is going. So let's begin. <laughs> all right. We're just going to zoom right along here. Oh, good morning. Oh, wow. Wow. Bob, why don't you wake up Bone Hilda? Hey. Oh, look at him. Uh, hello. Hello. Uh, the blood. Da -da 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 -da. <laughs> Look at her. She's like, oh, what's he doing? Oh, she wants to make the bed. Well, that's fine. You don't have to now, Betty, because Bone Hilda is out and about. Yes, Bone Hilda. Bone Hilda. Bone Hilda. Okay. Hey, uh, 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 <laughs> well, go cook something then. Serve breakfast for the whole fam. And you know what? Actually, go fill his food. <laughs> And there you go. Yay! You know what? I don't know if I want to have... Hold on. I'm kind of getting the feeling... Bad boy, bad boy. My thoughts are going very, very bad here. I want to have a Severo and a Bone Hilda. <laughs> it's not even that big a house, and I don't feel like it's going to ever get that dirty, but... We love Severo, right? Severo... It's not Servo, it's Severo, right? I'm not, I haven't been calling him something different this whole time. Servo! Yes, like serve. I'm going to serve you. Shiny Things, Inc. I used to be obsessed, obsessed with this robot when I was a kid. I had a best friend growing up, uh, and his name was Marcelo, and he loved robots. He loved robots. He loved, um, I don't know if you guys remember, okay, we don't really have room for this yet. Okay, actually, let's put it outside. Wait, what if a robber... Whatever, we'll just put it here for now. <laughs> um, but he loved robots, and he always used to show me... I don't know if you guys remember, like, Robo Sapien, and... Uh... Oh, wow. Bob just said, screw the bird, I'm gonna make breakfast. <laughs> okay. All right, man. <laughs> That's real nice. Um, but he loved robots. He really did. And he, he actually got me inspired. Um to fall in love with, with robotics and stuff and and he was really 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 in love with passionate about this one robot I can't remember what it was called oh it's gonna bug me I can see it in my brain and he had a certain walk and it was pretty big at the time probably like 2007 8 um, and we always used to like hang out at recess and act like robots and you know what I mean that was like our thing we were the outcast kids it was it was all right <laughs> it was cool it was cool and that's what we did we, we were just like you know little kids that that were obsessed with robots and and the sims and games and stuff and we all like took our favorite uh thing at the time and we kind of became it so for me <laughs> for Marcelo it was you know all these robots that that actually I ended up asking for Christmas almost every year because of how much he would tell me about them. Like Dragonfly, Robo Sapien, uh, well, I already mentioned, uh, Robo Raptor. I had Robo Raptor. I loved Robo Raptor so much. And then I go and lose the remotes and just have the robots and it's no good. So then you gotta rely on your own imagination when you don't have the remote. You know, rawr, rawr. Oh, don't hurt me. <laughs> but yeah, when we were in school, he, you know, would become Robo Sapien and I would become Severo. That's right. Because I didn't know too much about robots, um, but he did. And he taught me a lot and he kind of got me inspired to, to be a robotics fan. So in The Sims, which I was playing at the time, this one, 
I saw Severo and I was like, oh my god, I love this guy. Oh my god, he's so cool. And like, I want to be him. I want one. I want a Severo. So that was my thing. I did the noises. I did everything. I was Severo. <laughs> I think we called each other robot names too. I can't remember, but wherever he is out there in this world, I hope he's doing great. I hope he's still working with robotics too. He knew a lot. Oops. <laughs> okay. Uh... What the hell's going on? <laughs> Bob can't find a seat to eat his damn food. Just sit over there. If he goes back over to that seat, I swear. Okay, there you go. You finally figured it the frig out. No, don't have a snack. Girl, he just cooked for y'all. Yeah, grab a plate of that. Yeah, there you go. You know what's up. You grab a plate too. Oh, here we go. Here we go, folks. This is Congestion City, yep, and Betty don't know what to do with herself. Listen, Betty, there's nowhere to, uh, there's nowhere to eat. Oh, never mind, Bone Hilda just cleared you a spot. You say, thank you. Masala, a salad as you eat. Wabali, kawoo. Go eat your damn food. Go eat your damn food. Is she eating? Okay, they're having the morning chat, blah, blah, blah. Oh, Betty stinks. She is a stinky little hoe. Stinky hoe! You're a stinky hoe! <laughs> okay. Is your mom gonna watch? Okay. Or maybe Bob can help you out here. Bob, fill the food. Feed him a cracker. Betty don't gotta do that no more. There we go. I'm really disappointed that you can't put away leftovers in the first one. I hate throwing out food that doesn't need to be thrown out. Wait a minute. Was Bone Hilda? Oh, Betty. Okay, sorry. Betty was cleaning. I thought Bone Hilda was whistling. I'm like, girl, you don't even have a lung to pop out any kind of breath. There ain't no H2O up in that dress. We all know that. I can see your bones. <laughs> Bone Hilda. Okay. You're having more to eat? That's. He's already had. Bob's already had two plates of this. Hence why I bought a gym, outdoor gym, for him. Because is that window open over there? Is that do all these windows open a little bit? Is it hot in here? <laughs> I don't think it's that hot. I mean, <laughs> oh, I guess I wouldn't be able to tell if uh, Phil food again. He just ate all. Okay, <laughs> this is getting ridiculous. I need a table just to put magazines and stuff on because. Oh. Bone Hilda! Go fill the food. There we go. There we go. You just filled the food. Mm -hmm. Okay. Use the toilet. Take a shower. We need to get y'all ready to go out. And Betty, yeah, you can dance. Actually, I think Betty is going to go out first. Actually, what she could do is read these gosh darn magazines. What are her interests, I wonder? Oh, the 60s. <laughs> sports. Oh, she's a sports queen. Money queen, travel queen, exercise queen. Okay. What about music? You like music? Eh, not so much. Not a big fan. What's she playing? <laughs> I don't know what she's playing. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like fun. Uh, wait a minute. I'm trying to still figure out what this girl's interests are. Okay, so she's not about she's not about romance. She's not about film or technology. This girl's about travel and style. Wow. Okay. okay well, why don't you read about parties then? And sports? No sports. And find you an agent because Mrs. What is she doing? She's got a magazine in her hand already. 
Aha. Does she have two magazines in her hand right now? I Y'all saw her magically find a a magazine out of her hand and now she's got it. <laughs> I swear she picked up a second magazine. Now she's got two magazines. Well. Hey, Bob's watching the TV. <laughs> He's watching cartoons. <laughs> Bob has no interest in anything. Wow. Okay. He doesn't like anything. What? Watch the uh, horror movies. There you go. Switch it over. We want to watch something scary. It's spooky. Oh. That is spooky. A clown head. I don't think I've ever seen that slide before. Huh. Interesting. Now, is she a uh -huh. Okay, good. Now she's still reading. And is she going to find an agent very soon? Bob is still eating. We represent the stars of today, tomorrow, and yesterday. Looking for at least 15 minutes of fame? Give us a chance. Because it... <laughs> Sorry to hear this other chick. La, 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 la. <laughs> I was always my favorite ad. I don't think she says anything. She's like, and then la 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 la. Or this one. <laughs> oh. The noises are so sketchy. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> okay, we're done watching TV. What is Betty doing out here? Why does she still see? I told y'all, she's got this thing stuck in her hand. Oh no. Okay, recycle that. Recycle all these dang magazines. They don't they're not worth it. They just ain't worth it. There's just too much. And this damn bird has already ate all this food again. I can't. I just can't. There's too many things on, too. Look at this. It's TV on. Okay, Bob. Bob. I don't even have to use the washroom, but... Turn things off when you are done with them. Oh my god! Betty even left the computer on. Girl. Girl. Y'all are so lazy. I guess this was before energy saving was quite popular. <laughs> Let's be out. I love this show. Okay. Good boy. Now the computer. I know that wasn't your. It <laughs> wasn't his fault, but. Alright. Can we get out of here? I'm ready to go. It's already 5 30 and they're just now kind of ready. I wouldn't even say kind of. Okay, forget it. <laughs> feed the bird, feed the damn bird, and we going out. Call a cab to go to Studio Town. Now that she's an actress, or a, oh, just fame. She's a nobody. That's okay. We'll get her up there. You are going to hear about Betty Newby. She is going to hear your tooth. <laughs> yes, that's a cool car. Aww, Bob's gonna hug her. Aww, go hug. But it's nighttime, we're just leaving for the day. Oh. <laughs> this is very representative. Representative. This is very rep representative of their relationship. Bob jumps in her arms, not the other way around. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. Uh-oh. I shouldn't have a chance to have a kiss there. Oh well. Okay, alright. You just make your way. Can we follow her? Indefinitely? There we go. No, I won't follow her indefinitely. Oh, Bob's like, can I come? Oh wait, there's a dog in the damn street. Holy cow, there are too many pets up in here. Fluffy, Aristotle, okay. Buzz. Shoot. <laughs> here comes Bob. Bob's the rescue. Get out of the 
away. Dang dog. Oh my god, his button's not even done up. This boy needs some new clothes. Thank you. Bye. Oh! <laughs> I'd like to thank the Academy <laughs> for this special trophy. <laughs> Where can we shop? Uh, fashion opportunities. Does that mean... I wonder if fashion opportunities means uh, to buy things, because I feel like, or to buy clothes, because I feel like for fashion, it's a modeling thing. Yeah, see, this looks all, this looks all very modely. Huh. Oh, we got traffic in Studio Town. Burp, burp. <laughs> she's a nobody. You ain't posing for nothing. Receive welcome. Oh, she's not in a good mood. I should not have brought her out today. What do I mean today? It's 8 o'clock. Oh my gosh, it's already 8 o'clock. <gasps> Sarah McLaughlin! Oh, it's Sarah McLaughlin! In the arms of an angel. In the arms of an angel. Oh, they just ran over Sarah McLaughlin. Her autograph! <laughs> Thanks, Queen! Oh, I just got an autograph from Sarah McLaughlin. Oh, oh, this guy's got a vendetta. Oh, Sarah McLaughlin is leading the fans right on out of the studio. In the arms of an angel. Da -da -da -da. She's like, can you get out of the way? Sarah McLaughlin is determined to keep this. Oh, okay. Oh, two of them. Oh, look at all the traffic. <laughs> Sarah McLaughlin. I didn't know she was famous for uh, holding up traffic. <laughs> That's a first. Okay. Well, famous singer, famous supporter, uh, support, famous animal activist, and uh, traffic holder. Add that to her itinerary. Or add that to her resume. Alright, we need some new clothes, and you're in a horrible mood, so let's get you out of here as quick as possible. Ooh, he could, she could do a fashion show, too, if she wanted to. But, like... Who are these people? Ooh! Okay. Oh, hey! I like that! Very Gale Weathers. There's only two? Okay, well, we'll buy that one. That's really cute. I like it. I like it. I like Angela. I'm not worthy. Yes. <laughs> As for autograph. Wow, wow. Girl, you are the top. Is the wa and a ba da da. And a bongay Okay. Let's go over here and see what they got for sale over here. Poilo. <laughs> Who's this flaming gay over here? <laughs> Look at this flamer. Ah. Showtime. Where are my models? Where are my models? His name's Rico, too. That's hilarious. And he's got his fan. Yes, queen. Yes. Oops, I'm zooming out. <laughs> Is this it? Ah. Okay. Maybe it's just for her body type. Like, that's the only clothes for her body type. Which, ouch, they're not very plus size friendly. But, I mean, it is 2000 as well. So, things are different here. Things are different. Ooh, let's get some sushi. Ooh, yeah, she hungry. <gasps> oh, that looks like fun. Only one at a time. Wow, sucks. Okay, it's us on. Eat a son. Go get some sushi from Eat a son. I personally hate sushi. <laughs> or I don't hate it, but I don't love it either. <laughs> I wouldn't eat it voluntarily. Ever. Uh, what's going on? Oh. <laughs> Alright, Betty. Uh, when I forward it on her, it doesn't stay on her, which is unfortunate. It's kind of broken. But you know what? That's okay. It's like kind of... I'm kind of like expecting... I'm expectant uh, of any glitches or issues. Ah, it's not an official version, so... <laughs> oh! Here we go. Mm, she knows what she wants. Ah. She says... Plan two. Right, I'll get that for you. And you want some of this in there, too? 
Parakuka. Parakuka. Hikikatori manchana. Simlish. Asian Simlish. This is. They got Simlish for every language. Mmm, Oh, look at she's licking his. Hmm? What time is it? I love Late night sushi. Late night sushi. Who else is a Betty newbie and likes some late night sushi? Just before midnight. Oh, look at those chopsticks. Damn. Those are wild looking. Mm. It's okay? <laughs> She's like, hmm. It's alright, I guess. Okay, we gotta get you home, girl. Well, this was kind of unfortunate. We didn't even get a... We didn't even get a... Uh, what do you call it? Any new pieces. I like the suit, though. The red suit. That is so cute. It's so her. So her. So Gale Weathers, too. It's very Gale Weathers, isn't it? <laughs> and that. Oh, it's following her now. I'm not touching the mouse. Yay! Good. Now we can just follow her. All right, girl. Let's speed her up. There we go. Down those stairs. <laughs> what a great... <laughs> She just dialed on the phone, but the dial the buttons. Go my last Go my last not. Oh, Vicky is getting her photo taken. This is the Selma snapshot. Ooh, nice name. The oh, I can't even touch her radio. She's like, don't touch my radio. Oh, oh, va va voom. Look at this guy, Rico. <gasps> Should she walk the runway? No. Next time. Next time we'll get her to walk the runway in that red that red blazer suit. Ooh, pantsuit. Ooh, here we go. Bye, Studio Town. It's been a slice. Is it still gonna follow her? I hope we don't run into traffic. Whoa! Nice SUV. Looks like it says Toyota. Who is that? Oh, I love her outfit. Oh, hi Bob. <laughs> Hello, Bob. I was trying to spot. Oh. Okay. Shh. She's gonna pee her pants. How do you pause? Hey, it didn't let me use the pee button. Weird. The hot key. Oh. Oh. Let's take a quick look here. Look at Betty's. Let me direct you to her motives. There's nothing. Her mood. There is nothing. Okay. <laughs> Poor girl. She needs something. Well, then, Bob, I know you're not hungry or probably hungry even though it says you're not hungry i'm sure you are still hungry because you eat everything betty is going to pee her pants so she is making her way to the loo it's so extra they, i forgot in this one they blur your whole body <laughs> she's just having a pee <laughs> no crime here and we all pee and we all poo poo that's just how it is <laughs> that's how it be okay betty yeah 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 Okay, why don't you take a... Can you nap? Can we nap in this game? Is napping a thing? Well, why don't you turn that off and take a nap? And then Bob will have breakfast or dinner ready for you. Whoa, it's 7. It's almost 8 o'clock here, but it's 1 a.m. in Studio Town. Okay. Oh, she didn't make it. Wow. Oh. Oh. Yes, that's why I said turn it off and take a nap. There's no need to get all oh, Bob's getting sad. Okay, don't hug her right now. She's just not in a good mood. Maybe you can just go to bed, okay? Yeah, see, you've fallen over. It's so good. It's so good. And Betty, I know, I know, I know. Actually, that food was a waste. Aww, I feel bad now because. Well, it makes sense I just put her to bed because look at her. She's uncomfortable. She's oh, tired, exhausted. She needs a shower. She kind of stinks. She's very hungry. So she's going to bed with a rumbly stomach. Oh, I hate that. Uh, Bob doesn't want to sleep with his wife. I guess they're not technically married. But wait, I guess now that the relationship's so low that he can't sleep with her? Aww, that's sad. How did I let this happen? Um, what other cheats is there? Oh, that, 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 that. I'm trying to remember. I think testing cheats enable true is Sims 4. No such cheat. Yeah. 
Um, and bool prop. That's Sims 2, right? Bool prop testing cheats enabled. No, no such cheat. Darn! Now I feel like Bob right now. Well, that sucks. I don't think there was any other cheats. Because remember... Well, oh well. You'll have to nap on the couch or something for now. Mm. We will work on your relationship in a moment. There you go. Oh, we, they can't nap. Oh. There you go. What? Why? <laughs> oh, look at the little hula girls go real fast. I didn't realize they actually moved. Oh, they li 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 li. <laughs> Where's Bob? Oh, that's Betty snoring? I thought that was Bob snoring. Oh, she's a big snorer. Uh, I almost feel like we need to work on the outside. I feel like, I think that's essential now. Because in a situation where, say, Betty and Bob can't talk for a while, and uh, if Betty and Bob can't talk for a while, and next thing you know they can't sleep in bed together, uh, we need to make sure that Bob has a place to comfortably rest his head at night. Outside. <laughs> it's better than inside. I'll make it really comfy for him, too. And if he's ever in the doghouse, you know, Betty's thinking, you know, you... You being a little stinker right now, and I don't like you right now, then he can go sleep comfortably outside. We'll have a little tent or something. Um, for the garden, I'm actually thinking, I'm thinking, I want to make this kind of grand, you know? Uh, I wish I could, uh, I hate how there's only certain angles. Oh, well that works too. Uh, okay, okay, what are we gonna use here? This is like a stone in the ground, okay. That could be cool for like a... No, never mind. <laughs> I instantly just, just kind of took that back, cause... It looked cool at first glance, but... It really wasn't what I thought it was gonna be. Oh, I love me some cobblestones like these. They just... I love them. Cobblestone is my best friend. Okay, so I think it comes out to about there. We're going to get rid of this for more garden. And the door is there, so... Yeah. Yeah, that works. Ooh, actually, you know what? I'm going to have a grill right there. Yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. That's what I'm talking about. Hey. Okay, and this is going to come down here. So we're basically just extending this space with the extension we've already put on kind of bring some uh, uh, synchronicity <laughs> repetition I don't know about these flowers though I kind of feel like they can be bougie now and have actual like concrete flower blocks is that kind of is that too bougie these orange ones are really cute. Yeah, I like the orange. That's cute. All right, let's give them four of those. And when I say... Oh! Oh, I found the pause button, guys. It's not P. It's the little dash next to the one. Who knew? I didn't know that. I thought it was always P. I think it's just glitched, but... Whatever. What do I know, right? All right. Sorry. <laughs> Lost in the sauce here. Lost in the sauce. Help me. I'm lost. I'm, I'm lost in the sauce. <laughs> what the hell? Okay, you know what? We're gonna put one of these right here. <laughs> That's cute. Okay, it's it's starting to slowly look normal. I look cute. 
Oh, we've got the poplars up there. These are like, these are cypresses, aren't they? These are cypresses. These aren't, uh, these aren't, uh, you know what? Why don't we just line the backyard with these at the end? Yeah, look at that. It just gives it such a classy look. Ooh, it's classic. Okay. So let's move all the furniture away from the construction area <laughs> right now. <laughs> what other flowers do we have here? Oh, trees. Oh, there's the cypress. Ah, ha, ha, ha. This is what I was looking for. We want these lying in the back. So we'll, we'll plop a few here for now because obviously it looks like I have a lot of yard work to do here. They've got a weird backyard, so I gotta level that out. Um, uh, what other trees do we like for the backyard? I'm thinking some spruces would be real nice. Yeah, let's get some spruces. What kind of spruce is that one? I have a, okay, that's a goose spruce. Oh, oh I restarted the time. <laughs> it was done though, but we good. We'll keep it, we'll keep it flowing for now. Uh, a western slope. I think, oh, these are three different trees. Hmm. Oh, there's all kinds of different evergreens. Ooh, a scenic pine. A western slope fir. Uh, a goose spruce. <laughs> I, okay, I think I'm going with goose spruce just because... Oh, what's this one? Pine tree. This was just pine tree. Okay, well... I kind of like the goose spruce, so I think we're going to go with the goose spruce. Yeah, I like me some goose spruce. Uh, oh, perfect fur, off-white. Oh, there's other ones too? Why is this so difficult? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I like how fur, like, you know, clean cut this pine tree is, but... I really like the goose spruce. A little more natural, bunches out at the bottom. But this one's nice too, the little uh, off-white. Choices, choices, eh? I don't know, actually. Up close now, I kind of like... I kind of like the off-white spruce. Or this one. Perfect fur. Huh. Ugh! Okay, you know what? We're gonna go for... I actually changed my mind again. Pine tree. Let's go for pine tree. I'm so indecisive, man. It just is what it is. Um... <laughs> Let's add a bunch of them. I'll, I'll obviously go around and uh, place these differently. Um, but for now, we're focusing on this little slice, right? Yeah, I got I got sidetracked again. What else is new? <laughs> oh, sorry, I'm being silly. <laughs> Actually, I'm not sorry. Uh. Look at this. Oh, these are cute. Okay, so what I'm thinking. Oh, look at those wildflowers. Oh, we have a whole garden of wildflowers along these edges. I want to do the whole garden. Just wildflowers. And then we'll do another garden someplace else. Oh my god, I love it. Don't you love it? Oh my god, look at that. But now I feel like we need to extend this all the way to the no, no, that really, that's not necessary. Uh, but I'm kind of thinking this might be necessary if we just line the back of the house with that. That looks kind of cool, doesn't it? It gives it like a spacious feel. Or a, a hidden feel. Like, oh, there's a window there. Oh, well. Who cares? <laughs> I'm being lazy about it, but, you know, I couldn't really care. Uh, okay, so what's gonna go in these spots? I'm thinking something simpler. Is there something simpler? These little rose bushes, maybe? No. No, simpler. What's this? Thistle. <laughs> Thistle. <laughs> That's a weird word. <laughs> Thistle. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Thistle! 
Okay, let's line this with roses. Oh, these are rose bushes, right? Oh, I'm trapping several. <laughs> right? These are rose bushes. Hau plant. Oh, known to Hawaiians as the Hau plant. Oh, okay. Well, let's extend this by one. And then what we'll do is we'll... Th Ooh, that's a good idea. No, let's... Let's keep it simple, right? Uh, this isn't a public park. <laughs> that's cool. Very 90s. Stop this. <gasps> or the egg. Oh, I want an egg. Yeah, egg. Ooh, or a triangle. I don't know, guys. What do you think? <gasps> oh, oh, I've got an idea. This can go right here. Yeah. Egg. We'll do all four eggs. How about that? Oh, and then we'll put the dolphin somewhere else. I do want a couple of these, too, somewhere. And a couple llamas. Hello. Front door. Or front yard. Yeah, let's do it at the front yard. Cute, right? Uh, I don't know if they should go there, though. Eh, it works. Um, fences. Fences. Whoa. Whoa, that's a big fence. I don't know if we need that. It's kind of nice though, isn't it? No privacy, no stray animals. I kind of like this cobblestone, this is cute. Ooh, I don't know though, that connecting iron fence is cute. Yeah, I think we're gonna go for this one. Oh, but... So, what if we just start it here? Yeah, there we go, there we go. I, I was thinking for a second I might have to go a square back, a tile back. I think we're good. This is like not the old school version. Look at this. You have to actually click your fence into place. <laughs> I could, if you guys can remember with The Sims, like The Sims uh, 2 and 3 even, it's like a, a wall tool. You can just extend it. But it seems like here we have to... Oh, oh I have no money. <laughs> Yikes. This, uh, this garden exterior uh, budget is starting to soar through the roof. And I'm okay with that. And since Betty's going to be a big superstar soon... We don't have to worry about any bills anymore. And maybe we'll throw a second story on the house. Could you imagine? I think we need to do it. We have to do it. Yeah, we're going to do it. When she gets more successful, there's more money. Okay, see what I'm saying? See this backyard? It is like on the biggest slope. Where did the slope come from? Explain yourself, slope. Oh, doing lots of digging. Gotta do lots of digging around here. I've been working all day. <laughs> uh, oh, that's as far as we can. Well, that's cool though. At least we have like um, uh, like a divoted backyard. Like that's privacy right there. It's like a um, a fence of its own. Uh, wait a minute. This whole yard isn't even. That's like its own. Yeah. Okay. So the only things that need to move is this apple tree, this random bush. That I just deleted because why are why are you there? Uh -huh. I didn't put you there. You must have already been there when I started. That bush. Okay, have we leveled the entire lot? Fabulous. I will continue my work. Right here. Fabulous, 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 fabulous. Oh, these the this fence is very expensive, so we are gonna be uh out of money very soon again I wish I could throw up some uh, uh, what do you call it some plants up here or along this bank like in the Sims 2 or 3 when you can just throw stuff on an angle see what I would really love I don't know about you guys but like I'm a huge Sims 1 fan and 
not a lot of people are in this day and age. Like, a lot of people, I mean, a lot of the Sim fans, really, in all practicality and honesty, the Sim fans these days are um, the youth Sim fans. They're, they're all about The Sims 4. So, which I'm certainly not. <laughs> um, not my cup of tea, but <laughs> don't get me wrong. I think The Sims Fun's 4, and it's got a lot of cool, interesting features, but certainly not as much as I think we deserved. But anyways, I'm not, I'm not bitter about it anymore. It's been freaking eight years, <laughs> almost 10 years of Sims 4 era. So I'm just, I'm over it. I've let it go. You guys have your fun. But Sims 1 is an iconic game. And I feel like what they need to do is focus on if Will Wright, the actual creator of The Sims, was back in, in control at the helm of these games, I feel like he would be right away looking into creating uh, Sims 2 remasters and Sims 1 remasters because there's a such thing as Simitone. I don't know if you guys have heard of it. S I M I T O N E. Look that up. Give it a give it a, a, a look through on YouTube. There's a lot of people who do let's plays with the Simitone upgrade, uh, and the Simitone upgrade basically takes all of this and makes it 3D, so you can zoom right in, look all around, kind of like uh, the Sims busting out for PS2 or the Sims on PS2. Um, that kind of feel or the herb sims in the city or even the sims 2 actually on ps2 any sim game on console it uh it re it recreates that for you that experience so everything's 3d the sims are 3d another alarm <laughs> that one's not even for let's plays so you know it's bad when okay guys i should probably end it here that was meant to be uh, but we got the fence done the backyard's a bit of a mess um but we're gonna continue this in the next episode and then what I want to do like I was saying I've been meaning to get it done for so long I gotta get Betty and Bob new everyday clothes upgrades they need a wardrobe makeover uh, we're gonna get them working out we're gonna get them in shape for new jobs we're gonna get them both a job and we gotta get them back in love again I don't like that they're not sleeping together that's very sad so we'll figure that out we'll work it out we will implant some love spells and try to get them back into the mood yeah, put a fresh twist on the old regime and give them some fun. Maybe we'll turn the vibration mode on the bed on. You know what I'm saying? Create a scene. Create a mood for them. All right, folks. Well, it has been a real slice here today. I have had quite a joy playing with y'all today. And uh, I, I think it's really exciting that we're finally kind of blooming and blossoming. I'm going to turn that down. That's a little too much piano in my ear. Uh, <laughs> But uh, yeah, we've we've come pretty far. I mean, we got this gorgeous house, very bougie, very 90s, very 2000s. Um, and I do want to add a second story eventually because I can't really go outward. I could extend, but I want to make the outside. I want to use as much as the outside as I can outdoors, the, the yard. But eventually we'll go up. But now that they've got this bougie house and all this bougie stuff and a lot of bills to pay, we need to make sure they have jobs to support that bougie attitude and that bougie lifestyle. And, you know, this is a great lesson for people in real life. You know, if you're going to be bougie, you got to have the bank to support the bougie lifestyle. Don't go out of your means. Stay within your means, folks. It's, it's, it, that's a hard one for me. <laughs> I'll be honest. I'll, I'll be honest. <laughs> that's my biggest struggle. Practicality. And spending. Anyways. <laughs> um, but this is really great to get that itch out. God's to say. I bet you The Sims has saved a lot of people from their shopping addictions, let me tell you. It's easier to spend simoleons than dollar dollar bills, y'all, you know what I'm saying? Anyways, I'm stalling, I'm procrastinating, and I'm so great at it. <laughs> Alright guys, love you guys so much. Thank you guys so very much for watching. It is my absolute privilege and honor to be making these and playing with you guys. I just have so much fun doing them. I love Let's Plays, as you guys know. and. For me, it's just a fabulous experience to share with you guys. I think it's really important and a lot of fun. And it creates a really great dynamic for you and I to come together and, and play something together. Like we're just, both of us are sitting there at the computer playing together. And that's the kind of experience and atmosphere I want to create in everything that I do here on Travis J's Space. So, um, I'm really happy. <laughs> I'm really grateful and appreciative that you guys watch whoever you are wherever you are I, pleasure's all mine 
Love you guys. <laughs> We're not gonna get emotional here on Let's Play on The Sims OG. We're just gonna. <laughs> I'm a very emotional person. I would. I was gonna go there. I felt it. I felt myself going there, but <sighs> just need to go have a cigarettes, get a new tea going, and film another episode. <laughs> All right, guys. Love you guys so much. Thank you guys for tuning in. And uh, tune in next time. And we'll have a whole new yard. We will have uh, exciting new careers for our friends here, Bob and Betty. And maybe maybe we'll try to make some friends for them, too. Because they need friends. Y'all, we need friends. Everyone needs a friend. <laughs> Everybody needs a friend. All right, guys. Love you guys so much. Take care. Have a wonderful day. Treat yourself. Be good. Okay, be good to yourself. Love you. Ta-ta. Toodles. Ciao for now. Howdy, folks. Did you like that video? Well, then why don't you go ahead and give that thumbs up a smackaroo. Don't want to miss out on the next episode? Give the subscribe button some love and make sure to turn your notifications on. That way I can give you a bell a ring, let you know when it is served. Still need more to chew on? Take a bite of my new YouTube Instagram account at Travie J Space to keep up to date with the channel's inner workings and news of upcoming projects and episodes. Thanks for watching. See you next time.